Okay, it's January 26, 2013, and here's a video update on the house that we're building, 1309 Northeast Timberland Court in Lee Summit. So, here's the front door, and you can see they got the front door in. They still have the temporary uh, door there. Um, they haven't put in our real door yet, but they got a temporary construction door here. Walk through the front door. You can see our fireplace there, which will have stone around it. Some built-in area there. You know, put the built-ins in about a, two, three weeks, four weeks or so. Another built-in area there. And our back windows here. One, two, three. And you see that fourth one there. That's actually going to turn into a door. We decided to add a deck onto the back here along with the screened-in deck that will be covered we're going to have a deck that goes all the way back to the end of the screened-in deck area and goes all the way over to the end of that window there and they're going to start building that in the next couple of weeks but that's the new addition here's the rest of the house like I said there's a fireplace and a great room built-in area there down the hallways there, the front door. Turning over this way, you can see the closet. And over in this area is the kitchen. Over there in the far back is the pantry area there. That's the window that goes over the sink. You can see drywalls in here now. They're about ready to drywall. You can see the, they did the bibs insulation, the blown-in blanket insulation. And that's another door going out the side of the house. That's a little patio we're going to have out there. And then this is the the dining area here. You can see the light, the can lights up there. We got one, two, three windows here that blow in insulation covers still on that window there. Then this is back over where the, the deck is, the uh, screened in deck will be up back there behind those windows. Walk over here. Walk into the dining area here, walk out door on the side, kitchen sink, right there where that little stub is, that's where um, our, uh, back here's where the pantry is, and then our stove will be right there against that wall there, with cabinets all through there. Right here will be an island, split top island. Over here will be the microwave and the oven. The uh, oven will be a little lower, kind of half of it. We're on the other side of the drywall there. They got leaning up against the wall. There'll be a refrigerator here. And then this goes down the halls, down to the bedrooms on the upstairs. The laundry room, you can kind of see right here. You see the washer uh, hot and cold there and the dryer vent there. It's on the other side of the wall from where the stove is. And the garage is all closed, so you really can't see too much, but I'll kind of flash it in here real quick. But they got all the insulation in. It's the garage, three-car garage. Can't really see too much. It's pretty dark, but I'll come back this way. This is where the desk area will be, right? Coming in from the garage, there'll be a desk, and that's a window going onto our front little porch. That's the little desk area there. Some drawers would be nice. A little extra area for putting your stuff, having a desk. I'll walk down this way, go down to the bedrooms. Can't really walk down the hall with all the drywall in the way, but I'll walk over here, down through the bedrooms, go in the office first. Actually, I'm going to go into the little guest bath upstairs. That's where the sink and the vanity will be there. The toilet there, commode. That's all that's kind of in that little bathroom. Not too much, but the front door is right behind it. You can see the front door open there. And then coming through here, this is the office. We're going to have a big desk going from that corner all the way over to this corner over here. It's going to be a big desk. It's probably going to be, I guess, eight foot tall or seven foot tall or something like that with lots of drawers. Lots of places for printers and computers and work from home stuff. This little window going out, it still has the the bibs uh, cover over it. They'll cut that off, obviously, after they get done. But you can see 
on the bibs, they put this little screen thing in here, and then they blew, they blew in all this insulation in here. It's really pretty cool stuff. I mean, this is like, like a real thick blanket. They call it bibs, built blown in blanket. That's what it's called. Anyway, we got the whole house did that. It's supposed to save you a ton of money on the, on the heating and cooling, which is pretty cool. This is the closet for the office. Be a nice little, nice, actually pretty good sized closet for an office. But this will be actually another room, uh, potentially a baby's bedroom too. Walking this way, oh, there's a little thing here for, uh, you can see the little area there, right, kind of framed in there, see that little frame? Be able to put our picture, a picture in there as you're coming down the hall. It'd be pretty. And then walking in the master bedroom. See the windows out the back. And everything there. And then the back side of the uh, fireplace. All that. And then walking through here. They got the drywall up in there with all the bibs insulation. And you can see the walking in the master bathroom. Two sinks will be on this side. You see the drains for the two sinks there. All the can lights there put in. And the jacuzzi tub is in. Window for the uh, jacuzzi tub. And the walk in shower here with a rain head shower and a regular shower head. And then uh, our little commode room off the master bath. It's got its own little window, a little uh, slide pocket door, and then the closet for the master bedroom. It's got its own window. Not, we're going to go through trim walkthrough next week. But you can see all the insulation and all that stuff in here. Master bedroom, master closet. And that covers most of the stuff upstairs, so I'll start heading towards downstairs. It's all your windows in your master bedroom. Give you a little view of what we're going to have on our back here for a second. If it's not too sunny, you can maybe see some of it. We've seen all kinds of deer back here as we've been uh, building and as we've been scouting lots out and all that stuff. There's all kinds of deer that run right through and throw here. So we've seen turkey on the uh, street up on the other side. This area here, you can see the screened in deck from here from the master bedroom. The other uh, outdoor deck will be come out right off there and come uh, probably most of the way uh, where you can see here um, all the way out to you can see the patio here. We're going to add four feet of patio and it'll be right at the end of that. So we're going to I'll take you downstairs now. Come through here. Go this way. Go down the stairs over here. You can see where the screened in deck is there. They don't have much of the deck built yet. They're gonna have we're gonna have the uh trick decking and all that stuff added on. Be nice, no maintenance stuff. Go down these temporary stairs here, make sure you don't fall through or nothing like that. Come through. Okay, we're at the bottom of the stairs now, and we're in the lower level, and this is gonna be the wet bar area. There'll be a sink over here, a bunch of cabinets, a little microwave, a little refrigerator, mini fridge area. You can see that comes right off the stairs here, coming down. And then there'll be a bar here that goes right along. You see kind of on the floor there where it's kind of drawn out a little bit. There's a bar going right here. Okay. And then um, over in this area behind, you see this is the great room area, or the rec room area. The TV will be on this wall here, that wall there, and then there's a, a hallway to another bedroom back there, and the unfinished area, and then back over here, there's a hallway to the bathroom. You can see the tub already, and then there's the guest bedroom. It's back over here, right through this little hall here. That's the window for the guest bedroom. It's an egress window, which means it's below ground. Put the little ladder in the window, right on the outside of the window to get up. Uh, it's about a four foot drop or something like that. This is the guest bedroom, right out the wet bar on the other side of the wall from the wet bar. I got all the drywall down here. 
guest bedroom, guest closet, pretty good sized closet. It's not a walk-in, but it's it's bigger than the regular size closet. It's not a walk-in, so. And then over here, coming back out, you're right in the guest bathroom. And you've got the tub in already. And you're going to have the commode right there and a little teeny vanity here. I say a little teeny. They say it's going to be 33 inches, which is a pretty good size, I guess, for a guest bath. And then on the other side of the walls here, you got the furnace. You see they have that in. that has been in for a while now. They're about to put in the hot water heater pretty soon, which will go right there next to the furnace. Gas connections. And then back out here into the rec room. You can see the from the inside of the house, there's a walk-out door there. And three windows. And a deck. No, there isn't a deck over there now, but there'll be a deck over the top of that now. We're about to build an extra deck on top of that. Outdoor deck. I'll walk down here and take you into the other bedroom downstairs. The other one that's separated out. It's got its own little windows and stuff. Walk through here. It's got in all the bibs insulation. Walking around. It's got a nice closet. Closet for the other bedroom down here. And then it's got a private bath. And this is the walkway to the private bath. The little hall here. And there'll be, uh, that's a drain for a sink and a vanity goes from there over to there. And then there's the commode that goes down here. And then there's a little tub shower. There's a bench in the tub shower. Be right in there. And so when I come back out of here, that's the private bath for this little bedroom back here. Come over here. You can see all this bedroom here. You can see all the way back to the wet bar area there, at least for now, until they put the drywall up. And then this is the unfinished area, which has the furnace. And the hot water heat will be right there. There's that little area for an extra fridge if we ever want to put an extra fridge down here. And it's a pretty good sized little unfinished area here. I'll back up see if you can kind of visualize it. That's where the sub pump will be. And then this is the, all the unfinished area. You can see right there is a bench for the that little private bath and the tub for it. The neat tub. Walk through here. I'll actually go out here to the back door here and walk around. Show you some of the back of the house, maybe front of the house too. Walk out the walk out door here. Here's the here's the screened in deck area. What's built of it so far? It's roof covered. It'll all be screened in. Stucco wrapped columns coming down. And you can kind of see it over here. I mentioned early on, it's got three windows there and the screened in you can see through. This door right there. It's going to be a walkout. It's going to be a door now, a regular door, not a window. It's going to be a door. Change that out. We're going to have one, two, three windows for the deck room. The deck will be connected up to this deck here and go all the way across, all the way over to there, about where that you see that plug going out, a little hole for the plug. That's going to be an outdoor plug for the deck. And it'll uh, be over this whole area here downstairs. And there'll be a little pier coming down to there. We're going to have, add a little bit more concrete to have that all under the deck, make it work out. And there's the master bedroom upstairs and the big bedroom downstairs. You can see all that. You can see they got our, our little faucet out. That's going to be that little connection right there is going to be a floodlight area. You can see they got a floodlight up on the end of the column there for the stucco wrap column there on the also on the uh, the roof of that, we're gonna have all that there. You can see the wall. They built the they put the wall in back there, the brick the big stone wall to cover because the yard kind of slopes down. I'll walk around here and kind of see it. Walk around the edge of the house here. 
that's where the jacuzzi tub is right there, and that's where that bathroom is upstairs, the master bedroom, master bath. Walk around on all these piles over here. Oh, looks, looks like they're uh, putting the electrical in. I hadn't seen this before, so he built this big old trench back here for the electrical. It's the first I've noticed that, so he just put that in that last year or two. That's how that looks. That's where your electrical is. It's about three foot down. Four foot, maybe. You can see the stone up here off the front of the house. Try to get over here in the shade so you can... Maybe the sun doesn't block us out too much on the video. That's off the master bedroom closet. And that's the office uh, window. And I got it back up here, trying to get too much light. You can see the edge line of the roof line of the house. It's pretty. Cornered off the stone there. Leveled it off. There's the front door. And the little porch. It's got a little one. We'll have stone all around there. Be pretty. Come around here. Front. You got the garages. There's a little window up here at the top of the garages. It's kind of a design for the house. See the front again? Walking around, the garage doors are in. Walk around this way. It's the side of the house. We finally got our permissions to build the fence all the way to the back of the garage here. It originally wasn't going to be to the back of the garage, but uh, we got them to allow us to do that because normally it has to be to the back of the house back there. We got. We wanted to move it up here, so you can see the egress window there. That's where it comes up to the ground level. It's like it's only about a four foot drop down to that window. But there's a little ladder in that little area. You see the uh, the window over the kitchen sink. You can see a door there. We have a door. We're gonna have a little patio out this side. There's gonna be three windows there. You see the three windows. This is from the outside, and you can see the end of the uh, screened-in deck there. We'll have a little entrance to get onto the screened in deck from here but you can see the roof line here a little bit over the garage over the peak of the house and over the back over the screened in deck area but anyway that's it long video but had had to show you the whole thing before the drywall got in next one will have the drywall included talk to you soon enjoy bye